actually the chemical corps offers a lot of opportunities in the army basically soldiers will be assigned in um, a tactical unit either a chemical unit or the big army units which is the infantry the aviation unit um, engineer units and what the seaburn officer do and also the 74 delta which is our chemical or our seaburn specialist they're responsible in advising their unit on training making sure that the company knows how to maneuver around seaburn threats so we don't just handle chemical um, threats we handle bio threats uh, radiological threats and um, nuclear threats. So what you're going to see is a, a virtual environment of the, uh, the vehicle uh, conducting a mounted reconnaissance mission. They're going to be conducting a route reconnaissance uh, in a desert environment. So they'll be traveling through uh, civilian local populaces uh, in the most realistic uh, virtual experiences they can. Uh, and as they're traveling through, uh, identifying a chemical hazard. Ground contamination and our JSL scat is on. Prepare to receive MVC4 report. And once they identify that hazard, they will then also proceed to collecting samples in order to receive further analytics and move towards their decontamination location. Chemical soldiers do get hazmat training. So they can translate that training into the civilian world where they can work in, we'll say a fire department. They are there to clear if there's any chemical explosion, any other stuff that can um, harm the firemen. So they would clear that out first, identify it, clear it out, and then let the firemen know like, hey, you would need to use a certain PPE or protective um, equipment in order to enter that area. You will need a certain type of fire extinguisher to make sure that it, puts, it, it doesn't react into something else and it will cause explosion or damage to the area. So stuff like that. <laughs> 